Well? Uh, hi. That's it? Hi? Where have you been? Jerusalem. I assumed that. You left this morning to get food. You spent the whole day in the city? Yes. And do you mind telling me what you were doing in town all day? I went to the market. I assumed that. Do you know how long Reuben and Sarah were sitting here with nothing to eat, nothing to drink? Well, do you I know how long? I imagine they were. Three hours. We sat and stared at each other for three hours, wondering what happened to you. I finally had to send them home so they could get food and, and eat before the sun went down. But did I get to eat? I had to wait for you. I'm sorry. I was just so, you know. Where's the food you were supposed to bring back? Oops. Simon. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just got so swept up in what was happening. And what was happening? Well, there was a parade of men being led to the skull to be crucified. They had to carry their own crosses, and one of the men collapsed. So they pulled me out of the crowd to carry the cross for them. So I did. And I'm supposed to believe that? Of course. Why would I make that up? I don't know, Simon, but you're going to have to come up with a better story than that if you expect me to ever cook for you again. <laughs> oh. 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 Oh, my. Oh. Oh, oh Simon, you're back. What have you done to your back? Okay, hold on. Oh, let me get some oil for that. I told you. I had to carry a man's cross. It was a little heavy. A little heavy? Oh, my. Your back is completely raw. Bruises and slivers everywhere. What were you thinking? I had no choice. They pulled me out of the crowd. Why does it, those filthy room, Romans, they treat us like slaves. I'm so sick of them. Why doesn't anybody do something about it? Actually, the man whose cross I was carrying, he was challenging their authority. Why does it seem like every time you go to town, you attract some kind of trouble? Oh, just a talent I have. <laughs> oh, darling, you've really torn up your back. Yes, that's all right. When it heals, it'll be that much stronger. I suppose so. If it heals, if you haven't done any permanent damage. Well, that's why I'm so glad that I have you. You know, you always take such good care of me. Well, while you're recovering, I'll walk to town for food. Hey, I can still walk. Oh, no, you don't. You need to rest. And besides, who knows what trouble you'll find if you go back into the city. Why couldn't the man carry his own cross? Uh, he was beaten. And I mean, much, much more than the usual beatings. I mean, this fellow could hardly move. You know, trying to rub the blood out of his eyes, and there was just blood on his hands, just blood everywhere. Last marks, welts. I mean, it was like they had beaten this guy all night. Oh, my goodness. It was hard to imagine what he once looked like. What did he do to merit such a beating? Have you heard of Jesus the Nazarene? The one who calls himself God? That's who they're that they were executing? They beat him that severely for being crazy? I tell you, you don't believe his claims? Oh, of course not. Have you ever really thought about it? Well, if it wasn't so obviously ridiculous, as a matter of fact, yes, I have thought about it. And you don't see the slightest possibility. Why would a god make himself a man, and if he was a god, allow them to crucify him? It doesn't take a rabbi to figure it out. He's just some poor deluded man. Well, if you could have heard him speak. I mean, even with all the pain he was in, it was like hearing wisdom. Well, but from somewhere greater than us, you know that coming of the Messiah has been prophesied. Stories about a man healing the sick, 
performing miracles. Where was all that power when he was being crucified? You know, when they put that cross on my shoulders, it was like they put destiny on me. You know, it felt important. It felt like an honor. That doesn't make sense. If you thought he was the Messiah, how could you feel good about helping him with his execution? Well, it didn't feel like an execution. It felt like a ceremony, like prophecy being fulfilled. He wanted it to happen. He wasn't resisting. If anything, he was driven to continue. But his body just collapsed. Oh. So I continued to burden for him. You know, I believed in him. It felt like I was part of something that made sense. I just don't understand how. How what? The cross. That thing was like a tree trunk. Oh my goodness. I could never move something that heavy. Not even at my best could I move something like that. But the strength came to me from somewhere. You need to rest now. You know, I carried it. I carried it all the way to the skull. I believed in him. I carried it all the way to the end. Oh.